What's going on, guys? It's your boy Tony Picasso from Tony Picasso Fitness. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about hydration. Now, for those of you that don't know, it's very important to be well hydrated. Whether you're working out or you're not working out, your body needs water to function at its optimal best. Like when I don't drink enough water, I find myself getting very fatigued. It's hard for me to get up out of bed in the morning time. It's hard for me to really think clearly. I just have like a whole bunch more problems, but if I drink water, I would notice the difference. So there's different people out there. You got people that barely drink any water then you have people that try to drink water but they they still not drinking enough water then you have people that that drink a good amount of water but it's still not enough water for their daily needs and then you have people that drink a lot of water and then they're well hydrated well today we're talking about the people that don't hydrate enough because hydration is a serious problem nowadays your body is damn near 80 percent water our skin, our brain, we are water. Now the craziest thing to me that I hear people say is, oh, I don't like water, water is nasty. Water really doesn't have a flavor to me, but I mean, tricky thing with water is that it tastes flavorless, but certain waters do have a different taste, and I can't really explain that to you, I can't explain why, but I believe it's due to how the water is like, you know, processed or where it comes from that makes a difference in how that water tastes. So I understand that, you know, some people may say that water is nasty, but it all has to do with how you flavor your water. There's different ways that you can flavor your water. You can add lemon to your water. You know, you can, you can add natural flavors to your water. There's different ways you can flavor your water. You can use sugar to flavor your water, which I don't recommend, or you can use natural flavors to flavor your water, such as lemon and, you know, honey, and, you know, different things like that to add to your water to give it a boost of flavor to allow you to drink more water. Now, that's a simple trick that you could do for somebody that doesn't really like the taste of water and you just want to add something to it. If that's going to allow you to drink more water, then I recommend that you do that. If you're somebody that's working out, you definitely want to make sure that you're drinking a lot of water because as you're working out, you're constantly sweating, you're releasing so much water out of your pores because your body is trying to cool you down that you're losing a lot more water than the average person that's, that's not being active. So what you want to do is make sure that you're replacing all that water that you're losing by carrying some water with you to the gym and taking sips between sets because you're constantly losing water, especially if you're doing cardio and high intense workouts. You definitely need to replace that water that's coming out your body. Like I said, your muscles is composed of water. With that being said, if your muscles is composed of about 70% water, then what you think is going to happen when you don't drink water? Your muscles is gonna look deflated, which means that if you do drink more water, your muscles is gonna actually look more full. They're gonna be more fuller because they're carrying more water. And that's why people that drink creatine, they, they blow up faster because creatine is pulling more water into your muscles. That's how creatine works. So that's why they recommend that when you take creatine, you drink a lot more water because your body is starting to pull more water into your muscles and you need to consume a lot more water to be able to adjust to that creatine. I know if you're watching this video, you probably think, how much water should I be drinking? The problem I feel with the water business right now is these bottles right here because they have so many different water bottles now. You got bottles, you got bottles this big, you got bottles this big, you got the Poland Spring dollar bottles, then you got the 1.5 liter bottles, then you got the three liter bottles, then you got gallons. It kind of confuses you on about how much water you should be drinking. A lot of people would get small bottles of water and sip on that throughout their day and they think that they're drinking a lot of water. That's the problem. You need to know how much water you drinking. So we all know you're supposed to drink eight glasses a day minimum. That's, that's even if you're not working out. Like forget working out, forget all of that. You're supposed to drink eight glasses of water minimum daily. There's a big difference between a cup and a glass of water. A glass is almost two cups. So with that being said, I recommend drinking a gallon of water a day. People really think that they're drinking enough water, but they're really not. For example, I could buy this, right? I could finish this, drink this, boom, I'm done. 
Then I get another one of these, drink that, and I'll say, you know what? Nah, I drink a lot of water. I drink two of these a day. Well, guess what? If, you're, if you look at how much water is in this, if you look at how much water is in this, it says, let me make sure you guys can see this. This is only 1.5 liters of water. So although I think I'm drinking a lot of water, this right here is 1.5 liters. So me drinking two of these a day, I'm still not drinking enough water. I'm still not drinking my expectation of water, which is one gallon. 1.5 liters plus another one of these is only three liters. I would still need another liter. I would still need another liter to make that gallon. So. Although you might think I'm drinking a lot of water because I'm drinking two of these, I'm not drinking enough water. I need a gallon a day to perform at my optimal best, which is why I say it's a lot of you guys out there that's not drinking enough water. There's people out there that tell me, yo, bro, I can't drink that much water. If I drink that much water, I'm going to be in the bathroom all day pissing. Well, guess what? If you find yourself having to use the bathroom a lot while drinking water, it might not just be because of the water. It might be because your body is not actually taking in that water. Your body is not, your body is just, it's just running through your body. That's why you gotta pee a lot. Your body is not actually absorbing the water. That's probably what the problem is. And guess what? It's true. A lot of people are drinking water that doesn't have any nutrients in the water. What I recommend that you do to replace nutrients into your water is purchasing Himalayan pink salt. Let me make sure you guys can see this real quick. Pink salt. Pink salt is gonna allow you to replace the nutrients that's filtered out in spring water. So what I normally do is I get my bottle and then I just put a dab of salt into it. And it doesn't have to be a lot. It could literally be just a sprinkle and you just dip that into your water. You shake it up and then you drink. This is gonna allow you to absorb the water more efficiently. But if this video has helped you out, definitely go like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more informative videos. And I'll see you guys again for another video. Let's get out.